What is it? I haven't got a name for it yet, but just wait until you see this. Well, whatever it was, it got the show started with a bang. And speaking of big noises, here's Big Ethel. <sighs> to snag Juggy just like a gaucho with the old South American bolo trick. On the way! On the way! Boy, it's sure great to get away from Ethel. <laughs> I got the whole lake to myself. Oh, yo, Juggy! Oh, no! <laughs> You might as well give up, Juggy. You can't get away from the old rocket-powered speed skater. Well, I guess this calls for secret weapon number 13. The old cat burglar trick. There's my tiger. Now, to slink up the ladder ever so quietly, lift open the window, and then... <laughs> Don't look so down, Ethel. Here's something that'll pick you up. Thunderbolt Theater! Quick, drippy gags! Why are you hanging that painting? Because I couldn't find the artist. Fire at will! Uh, won't Will get mad? What's another name for an iceberg? A permanent wave. That joke was all wet. Hear about the mixed-up telephone operator? Yeah, she had a lot of hang-ups. How about that for a hot line? Miss Grundy, I do hope I look as good as you when I'm your age. You did. Hold that pose. I want to forget you two just as you are. Hey, Arch, I'll give you ten bucks to do all my worrying. Okay. Where's the ten bucks? That's the first thing you have to worry about. <laughs> How do you like my new outfit? It was made in Paris. Oh? Did you swim over in it? <laughs> Too bad that joke didn't come over. <laughs> How much are your four dollar shoes? Two dollars a piece. <laughs> Would you describe a sailor? <laughs> a wolf? 
stuff in ship's clothing. <laughs> you called? Hey, I just got an idea. Oh, beginner's luck, huh? <laughs> Did you take a bath? Why is one missing? <laughs> well, that wasn't very funny, but it's clean. <laughs> Uh, hey, Reggie, you got a quarter for a hamburger? Yeah, but first let me see the hamburger. All a pickpocket gets out of Reggie is practice. <laughs> yeah, you say your name is Captain what? What are you doing, Juggy? I'm forming a new rock group. That's silly. <laughs> a one and a two and a one. Hey, hey don't tell anybody, but if you want to look thin, Hang around very large buildings. <laughs> Reggie has that, um, uh, that certain nothing. The whole world's not against you, Ethel. America, yes, but not the whole world. Uh, what are you doing under that cloud? This whole show is under a cloud. But seriously... Science sure has made magnificent strides. Yes, now it's only 50 years behind comic books. Uh, seriously? Oh, hey, this is pause for pie break. Jughead, you'd get lots more dates if you were a little neater. It isn't worth it, Arch. You comb your hair, wash your face, change your socks, then three weeks later, you have to do it all over again. <laughs> oh. Moose, what's the idea? Yeah, well, you told me to put on a finished coat. This has got to be the end. Have we got time for the performing seals? One of the world's greatest trapeze acts, the Flying Flippers. On your left, Reggie the Rocket, and on your right, the Mighty Moose. Note the split second timing necessary for the success of this greatest of all trapeze acts. As Reggie builds up his momentum, the tension mounts. Coming out of the final swing, he flies into his triple flip. Moose waits till the final instant and now makes his leap. We'll be back in a little while. Meantime, let's look in on Betty. Dear Diary, Archie is really beginning to fall for me in a big way. Today at the library, he dropped in on me unexpectedly. Oh! Then, Diary, he asked me if I'd like to go swimming. Uh, Betty, uh, why did you go jump in a lake? And this afternoon, dear Diary, I overheard Archie talking about me in the hall. Oh, he told Reggie I send shivers up and down his spine. Sometimes Betty gives me the creeps. Of course, Reggie has a crush on me, too. He told Archie that he'd like to get me off by myself. Yeah, I wish she'd get lost. Until next time, Diary, I remain sincerely yours, Betty. And now, here's the star of our show, the giant jukebox. Yeah! Juggy, have you ever seen a string orchestra? No, but I've seen a rubber band. That was a snappy one. <laughs> what do you call a musical bee? A humbug. <laughs> Oops. Gosh, I never could carry a tune. You wouldn't have to break in if you had the right key. <laughs> Moose, why are you strumming that fish? Because I'm playing the scales. <laughs> Juggy, how do you stand in your music class? 
in the corner. Shall we dance? Reggie, you sang in the girls' glee club? Yeah, but they put me in the boys' section and took all the glee out of it. <laughs> My father gave me a hundred dollars for music lessons. Oh, really? What did you do with the money? All right, gang, get yourself set. Tap those feet, tune up those ears. We're traveling along to our first song, that new jukebox hit, Love Vibrations.
slide. Yeah, a trombone player. I don't think Ethel has such a big mouth. <laughs> Oh, no, then how come she can sing duets by herself? <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. What do you call that? The three bass hit. <laughs> uh, you know why a chicken can't keep a beat? Because his drum sticks. <laughs> oh, now that's what I call foul singing. <laughs> on a string. Fun house. 